Hello viewers. Welcome to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn how to solve problems related to percentages based on elections and votes. Being thorough with the concept and formula of percentages will make solving these problems easier. Please watch our video on percentages for all the details. Since questions based on these topics are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. In an election, three candidates contested. The first candidate got 40% votes and the second got 36% votes. If total number of votes polled were 36,000, find the number of votes got by the third candidate. So here it's given that the first candidate got 40% votes and the second candidate got 36% votes. So the vote percentage got by the third candidate is 100 minus 40 minus 36, which is 24%. So the third candidate got 20% of the total votes polled. It's given that the total number of votes polled were 36,000. So the votes got by the third candidate is 25, uh, 24 by 100 multiplied by 36,000, which is 8,640. So the third candidate got 8,640 votes. Three candidates contested in an election and received 1,136, 7,636 and 11,628 votes respectively. What percentage of the total votes did the winning candidate get? So here the three candidates uh, got 1,136 votes. 7,636 votes and 11,628 votes respectively. So the winning candidate got 11,628 votes. We are asked to find what percentage of the total votes did the winning candidate get. So first we have to find the total number of votes polled. So total number of votes polled is equal to 1,136 1, plus 7,636 plus 11,628, which is 20,400. It's given that the winning candidate got 11,628 votes. So the winning candidate got 11,628 votes out of the total 20,400 votes. But we are asked to find what percentage of the total votes he got. So the required percentage is 11,628 divided by 20,400 multiplied by 100%. When we solve this, we'll get 57%. So the winning candidate got 57% of the total votes polled. In an election, a candidate who gets 84% of the votes is elected by a majority of 476 votes. What is the total number of votes polled? So here we are asked to find the total number of votes polled in the election. So let the total number of votes polled be N. It's given that the winner gets 84% of the votes. So the winner gets 84% of N. So if the winner gets 84% of N, then the loser gets 16% of N. It's given that winner wins by a majority of 476 votes. This means that the difference between the votes got by the winner and the loser is 476. So 84% of N minus 16% of N is equal to 476. 84 minus 16 is 68. So 68 percent of n is equal to 476 or 68 divided by 100 multiplied by n is 476. 
on cross multiplication we'll get n is equal to 476 multiplied by 100 divided by 68 on solving we get n is equal to 700 so the total number of votes polled in the election is 700 in an election there were two candidates a candidate got 38 percent of the votes and lost by 7200 number of votes what is the total number of valid votes so here we are asked to find the total number of valid votes so let the total number of valid votes be n it's given that the loser got 38 percent of n this means the winner got 62 percent of n it's given that the loser lost by 7200 votes this means the difference between the votes got by the winner and the loser is 7200 so the 62% of n minus 38% of n is equal to 7200 62 minus 32 thir, uh, 62 minus 38 is 24 so 24% of n is equal to 7200 which is 24 divided by 100 multiplied by n is equal to 7200 on cross multiplication we get n is equal to 7200 multiplied by 100 divided by 24 on solving we get n is equal to 30,000 so the total number of valid votes in the election is 30,000 in an election between two candidates the winning candidate has got 70 percent of the votes polled and has won by 15400 votes what is the number of votes polled by the losing candidate so we have to find the number of votes polled by the losing candidate to do that first we have to find out the total number of votes polled so let the total number of votes polled be n it's given that the winning candidate got 70% of the votes polled. So the winning candidate got 70% of N. So the, uh, if the winner got 70% of N, then the loser gets 30% uh, uh, of N. It's given that the winner won by 15,400 votes. This means the difference between the votes got by the winner and the loser is 15,400. So 70% of N minus 30% of N is equal to 15,400. 70 minus 30 is 40. So 40% 40 of N is equal to 15,400. Which means 40 divided by 100 multiplied by N is equal to uh, 15,400. On cross multiplication, we get n is equal to 15,400 multiplied by 100 divided by 40. On solving this, we get n is equal to 38,500. So the total number of votes polled in the election is 38,500. Now we know that the losing candidate got 30% of n. So the number of votes polled by the lose, losing candidate is 30% of n which is 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 38,500 which is nothing but 11,550 so the losing candidate uh, got 11,550 votes in an election involving two candidates 68 votes were declared invalid the winning candidate secures 52% and wins by 98 votes. What is the total number of votes polled? So here the concept of invalid and valid votes has been introduced. So uh, you have to understand that the votes secured by the winner and the loser is based on the valid votes. Here you are asked to find the total number of votes polled. Total number of votes polled is nothing but the sum of valid and invalid votes so first we have to find the number of valid votes in the election so let the number of valid votes be n it's given that the winner gets 52 percent of the valid votes 
So the winner gets 52% of yen. This means that the loser gets 48% of yen. Now it's given that the winner wins by 98 votes. This means that the difference between the votes got by the winner and the loser is 98. So 52% of n minus 48% of n is equal to 98. 52% minus 48% is 4%. So 4% of n is equal to 98. Or 4 divided by 100 multiplied by n is equal to 98. On cross multiplication, we get n is equal to 98 multiplied by 100 divided by 4. On solving, we get n is equal to 2450. This means that the number of valid votes in the election is 2450. It's given that the number of invalid votes were 68. So the total number of votes polled is the sum of uh, invalid and valid votes. So the total number of votes polled is equal to 2450 plus 68 which is 2518. So the total number of votes polled in the election is 2518. In an election between two candidates, one got 55% of the total valid votes. 20% of the votes were invalid. If the total number of votes were 7,500, what was the number of valid votes that the other candidate got? So we are asked to find the number of valid votes that the other candidate got. To do that, first we have to find the total number of valid votes. It's given that the total number of votes uh, polled is 7,500, out of which 20% of the votes were invalid. So this means that 80% of the votes were valid. 80% uh, of the votes means 80% of 7500 votes were valid. So number of valid votes is equal to 80 divided by 100 multiplied by 7500 which is 6000. So the number of valid votes is 6000. It's given that one candidate got 55% of the total valid votes. So the other candidate got 45% of the total valid votes. Now we are asked to find the number of valid votes got by the other candidate. So the number of valid votes got by the other candidate is 45% of the total valid votes. Total valid votes is 6000. So the other candidate got 45% uh, of 6000 valid votes which is 45 divided by 100 multiplied by 6000 which is 2700. So the number of valid votes got by the other candidate is 2700. In an election between two candidates, 75% of the voters cast their vote out of which 2% of the votes were declared invalid. A candidate got 9,261 votes, which was 75% uh, of the total valid votes. Find the total number of votes. So we are asked to find the total number of votes. So let the total number of voters enrolled in the election be uh, n. It's given that 75% of the voters cast their votes. So the number of votes cast is 75% of n. It's given that out of the 75% of n, 2% of the votes were invalid. This means the valid votes was 98% of the votes cast. We know that the total votes cast is 75% of n. So the valid vote is equal to 98% of 75% of n. It's given that a candidate got 9,261 votes, which was 75% of the total valid votes. So we know that the total valid votes is 98% of 75% uh, of n. So 9,261 is 75% of 
of 75% of n. So 75% of 98% of 75% of n is equal to 9261. This is nothing but 75 multiplied by 98 multiplied by 75 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by n is equal to 9261. On cross multiplication, we get n is equal to 9261 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 75 multiplied by 98 multiplied by 75. On solving, we get n is equal to 16,800. So the total number of votes in the election is 16,800. 8% 8 of the people eligible to vote are between 18 and 21 years of age. In an election, 75% of those eligible to vote who were between 18 and 21 actually voted. In that election, the number of persons between 18 and 21 who actually voted was what percent of those eligible to vote. So here, first we have to find the number of persons between 18 and 21 who actually voted. Uh, to find that out, first we have to know uh, the number of persons eligible to vote in the election, which we do not know. So let's assume that the total number of persons eligible to vote in the election is n. Then it's given that 8% 8, 8 of the people eligible to vote are between 18 and 21 years of age. So number of eligible persons between 18 and 21 years of age is 8% of n. Now it's given that out of this 8% of n, only 75% voted. So number of persons between 18 and 21 years of age who actually voted is 75% of 8% of n, which is 75 by 100 multiplied by 8 by 100 multiplied by n, which is 3n by 50. So number of persons between 18 and 21 years of age who actually voted is 3n by 50. Now we are asked to find the number of persons who were between 18 and 21 years who actually voted was what percent of those eligible to vote. Now to find A is what percent of B, we can use the formula A by B multiplied by 100. Here A is the number of persons between 18 and 21 who actually voted and B is the total number of persons eligible to vote in the election. So the required percentage is 3n uh, divided by 50 divided by n multiplied by 100. On solving this we get 6%. So the required percentage is 6%. 10% of the voters did not cast their vote in an election between two candidates. 10% of the votes polled were found invalid. The successful candidate got 50% of the valid votes and won by a majority of 1620 votes. Find the number of voters enrolled on the voters list. So here first we have to find the uh, total number of valid votes. To do that, we have to know the total number of voters in the election. But we do not know the total number of voters in the election. So let's assume that the total number of voters is n. It's given that 10% of the voters did not vote. This means 90% of the voters voted. So votes polled is 90% of n. It's given that 10% of the votes polled were invalid. This means 90% of the votes polled were valid. We know that the votes polled is 90% of n. So valid votes is equal to 90% of 90% of n. It's also given that the successful candidate got 54% of the valid votes and won by a majority of 1620 votes. So if the successful 
candidate got 50%, 54% of the valid votes, then the loser got 46% of the valid votes. Now, we know that the difference between the uh, votes got by the successful candidate and the uh, loser is 1620. We also know that the valid votes is 90% of 90% uh, of n. So 54% of 90% of 90% of n minus 46% of 90% of 90% of n is equal to 1620. This means 8% of 90% of 90% of n is equal to 1620. This can be written as 8 by 100 multiplied by 90 by 100 multiplied by 90 by 100 multiplied by n is equal to 1620. On cross multiplication, we get n is equal to 1620 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 8 multiplied by 90 multiplied by 90. On solving, we get n is equal to 25,000. So the total number of voters enrolled on the voters list is 25,000. In an election, 30% of the voters voted for candidate A, whereas 60% of the remaining voted for candidate B. The remaining voters did not vote. If the difference between those who voted for candidate A and those who did not vote was 1,200, how many individuals were eligible for casting vote in that election? So we have to find out how many individuals were eligible for casting vote in that election. So let the number of persons eligible to vote be n. It's given that 30% of the voters voted for candidate A. So voters who voted for A is 30% of n. So the remaining voters is 70% of n. It's given that 60% of the remaining voted for candidate B. So voters who voted for B is equal to 60% of 70% of N, which is 42N by 100. So voters who voted for A is 30N uh, by 100 and voters who voted for B is 42N by 100. Now the remaining who did not vote is N minus 30N upon 100 plus 42N upon 100. On solving, we get 28N upon 100. So the remaining who did not vote is 48, uh, 28N by 100. Now it's given that the difference between those who voted for candidate A and those who did not vote was 1200. We know that uh, those who voted for candidate A is 30N by 100. And those who did not vote is 28N by 100. So 30N by 100 minus 28N by 100 is equal to 1200. On solving, we get uh, 2N by 100 is equal to 1200 or N is equal to 60,000. So uh, the total number of persons eligible to vote in that election was 60,000. In an election, two candidates participated. 10% did not vote. 300 votes were declared invalid and the winner gets 60% of the voting list and wins by 900 votes. What is the number of valid votes? So we are asked to find the number of valid votes. But to do that, we have to know the total number of uh, votes in the election. But we do not know the total number of voters in the election. So let's assume that the total number of voters in the election is n. Now it's given that 10% of n did not vote. And 60% of n voted for the winning candidate. So remaining is 30% of n. It's given that 300 votes are invalid. So uh, remaining votes is 30% of n minus 300. 
the these votes are the votes got by the losing candidate so the losing candidate gets these remaining votes that is 30% of n minus 300 votes now it is given that the winner wins by 900 votes we know that the winner got 60% of n votes and the loser got 30% of n minus 300 votes so the difference between these two votes is 900 so 60% of n minus 30% of n minus 300 is 900 on solving this we get 30% of n is equal to 600 on cross multiplication we get n is equal to 600 multiplied by 100 divided by 30 which is 2000 so n is equal to 2000 so the total number of voters is 2000 it's given that 10% of the total voters did not vote this means that 10% of 2000 did not vote it's also given that 300 votes were declared invalid so valid votes is equal to 2000 minus 10% of 2000 minus 300 which is 1500 so the number of valid votes in the election is 1500 viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept solve more percentage problems based on elections and votes to understand the concept clearly watch our video on solved problems on percentages based on salary this is a very important topic on which questions are asked in many competitive exams. So please do watch that video. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.